Good morning. Hope you've had a uh, lovely weekend. We did, we were very busy. Spent a lot of yesterday struggling through London, East London traffic. We travelled to a, a family do, Forest Hill in, uh, oh, somewhere near, near Snaresbrook. But it took hours. We we go from south to north, and then the M25, which is a, an orbital ring road around London, and we call it the magic roundabout. I don't know why there's nothing magic about it. I think it because it was the last day of the ho the school holidays, the roads were extremely busy. It took us 45 minutes just to get through the Dartford Tunnel. That's the one of the major tunnels under the under the Thames. So, and then we got to the other side. <coughs> I didn't trust my sat nav. I thought I'd go the way I knew and it would correct it, but it didn't. It tried to send me back to the M25 and, oh, well, we arrived 45 minutes late. That's, uh, so, the air was blue with words I didn't think I knew. And the journey back was even worse. It was dull, rainy, oh, miserable, miserable. I'm going to a lake scene, I think. I'll see how we go. Uh, I did. I had a go at this before we left yesterday, but it didn't really work. I I didn't put enough colour in the water in the underpainting or the preliminary washes, and it just looked like a, a, a ribbon of white. So I'm going to compensate for that. I want to put a bit of, bit of red in. I'll get that in there. And I'm going to put over that a nice bit of, bit of cloud. I'm using a, an old hake, which I cut down a bit too, too much. So it's just got a bit of dark in this, this lowering clouds here. Right, we'll see what happens to that. I'll put a little bit of dilute colour. So we've got the clouds getting smaller as we go into the distance and we'll just put that bit of that darker blue in there. I'm going to cover a lot of this up but we clip the paper, we've got a nice bit of colour in the sky but it, it will all dry much lighter than, than I put it on so we have to compensate for that by using thicker paints. And my paint has been kept wet over the weekend with, in the Stay Wet palette, the Masters in Stay Wet palette. I'm going to... Uh, I'm going to put a background. It's like a Lake District scene, but a bit of blue, a bit of alizarin, a bit of red. And we'll... I want this quite, a bit of this quite dark so that when I lift out with the, well, instead of lifting out, I can uh, put in some, some snow for this Caran d'Ache crayon, or kind of pencil, very good quality, that Smoothie sent me some time ago. I was sitting next to my wife's nephew yesterday, this do, in this beautiful private school. Um, it was Andrew Holden, I'm sure you won't mind a bit of publicity. He used to write EastEnders and Casualty and Holby City and stuff, Emmerdale Farm, stuff like that. He was a script editor. But now his, his wife works as a BBC script editor, but he, developing his uh, 
first love, which was art, but he's taken it up late in life. And he, he's like Smoothie, he can paint photographically, or draw photographically. He's very, very good. And um, so we'll give that a bit of a try. And he's been doing, he lives in Wales now. I'll just tell you that in a minute. Mute your sound. That's enough, no, no more than that. And he's been doing life classes in Swansea and he's producing some lovely, lovely work. He, and he works in a framers now, two days a week, and which is very handy. If he wants to maybe frame his own work and put it on the walls. I mean, he's, he is really good. Some of his life drawings looks like a, a bit like um, Francis Bacon, not Francis Bacon, uh, uh, Freud, Lucian Freud. Oh, what a great artist he was. So we'll just keep this blue, blue and red. I'll make some of these a bit larger. And just get, try to keep your horizontals. My, always, my horizontals always seem to be going up a little bit. So let's just. Oh, well, that's the nearest dam, isn't it? Got some vary your shapes and I'm doing dark so that I can lift out with a with a brush. Right, I quite like that. Just got a bit more red in there. Could be a name dropping that was, wasn't there? But I was encouraging him. He's, he's really got a late, a wonderful ability in more ways than one. Oh, I'll just put a bit of neat blue back in some of this here, just to give a bit of distance. Okay, now we'll uh, we'll put in. Bit of, bit of a beach. It's quite a thick paint here. Let's put in a bit of a beach. It's the usual. So, but I, I, I know I repeat myself, but everyone is different. A different feel. I feel differently. Just mixing nice, neat, fresh colours now. But I want some of this to be wet and dark because I'm going to lift out. So I need to be a little bit more water, a bit of blue, a bit of sienna, a bit of red. Warmer as we come in the foreground here. I'll put in a few rocks. Right, let's just 
the reflection there. I'm only doing this approximately. Just little bits of beach, just to give a little bit of bit of interest in in there. A little rocky cove, a rocky shore. Have a look at the screen. Yeah, quite nice moody sky. And we'll, uh, I'm going to put a, well, I'll put in a bit of bit of hard green there. I think yellow and plains grey. Bit of red. bit of grasses on here. Now this is just using tube consistency paint. And look at that. Look, it's it's uh, can you see that? An automatic focus here. So look that is that is straight out of the tube. It looks like but well, it is straight out of the tube. The yellow I put out uh, yesterday, burnt sienna is, is lovely and wet because of the water in the atmosphere in my palette. The paint's grey, they're all soft colours. <coughs> so you can you can work from um, thick paint to, to, to thin washes. It's a bit of a compromise with, with the way that Ron Ranson used to, to do these things. He would squeeze out fresh paint all the time, but I'm mean. It all costs money, so if you'd like to contribute to my Patreon channel, it would be much appreciated. Helps to pay for the materials. It's only a small amount of money. To, I've got about 40 videos on you on uh, Patreon now, exclusive to that channel, so you, only you can watch them for four dollars. You get a month with plus any new material that I publish in that time. Okay, so print your colour there and we'll uh, do something down here. So we'll, they're going to want a rocky feel to this, so get in with a nice, nice bit of warm colour. Try to remember to put reflections in, some grasses coming up, a varied of colours in all this. Colour I, I don't use enough of is burnt, burnt umber. Nothing personal against burnt umber, but There's a bit of rigor work in there. Sort of salt, salt marsh, or not even salt marsh, this might be a fresh water lake. The one I did yesterday, it, it, it didn't have this tint. It was, it, 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 it soaked into almost white paper and it just looked quite wrong. So here we are, let's get, that, get some green in. texture, variety. Oh look, I'm like oil paint, but that's okay, look, you just get, it just creates an effect. So I'll put a bit of that in there. Okay. Just want to get a bit of bit of darker colour in here and put in some ah didn't mean that that's gone I've got to do something with that see if I can dot it out 
but I can't, so I'm going to have to put something in there. Uh, disaster. Now we can turn these things into our advantage. Uh, there are boats in there, aren't It just gives that bit of detail. But you need the paint to be dark so that you, when you scrape it, it, show, it will counter change against the, the light background, the light of the paper. Okay, now I want to give that a bit of a dry now, so mute. So don't, don't be frightened to, to put a bit of texture in. Uh, let's see if we can put some sort of boat here. Uh, Okay, some of that is uh, okay, so we've covered up. Bit of, bit of reflection. A bit of shadow in there, I think. Okay, well that looks alright, doesn't it? We've sort of... Uh, I will... Uh, put a... Put something over that. You still see that just where I dotted that out. Okay, I'll dry that, and I'm going to lift out some of the the background. And I'll dry brush a bit of that across there, and that's perfectly dry. Uh, this is the stage where I get excited. And then it all goes wrong. All right, okay. So, tissue, the tissue. And a damp brush. And we'll just... Don't have to do a lot of this. Oh, you've got to get your roof lines. 
That's straight. You can always put in a little bit of, bit of the uh, background back underneath that. And little little uh, boat houses and, and things along here. Bit of red and blue. Let's get that a bit straighter there. Okay, now we can put in some masks. Very delicate. And a couple of little sails. You don't want to overdo it. Just a, just a little bit of bit of interest on what is a painting about texture and foregrounds and loosely painted skies. Let's just get that. It's going to be a bit of a challenge putting a figure in. Well, just a little bit like a bit of that and we can just lift out maybe uh, just a little bit of up here and it's all just suggestions, it doesn't mean anything. It's other it's what you think it means. Put in some. Okay, I thought probably just put in a little couple of little bits of That'll do. Put a smaller boat, probably just here. Let's clean a little bit more of that out, then we'll uh, just suggestions right now with the the figure brush. Let's have a bit of a
small heads. Who's in scale? Let's put some smaller figures just here. Just give a bit of scale. They're a little bit small, aren't they? So you change that. Probably be still a bit small, really, aren't they? Let's just put a bit of shadow in there. Okay, got birds. Just give that a good dry, then I'll do that bit of dry brushing off, which I forgot. Now look, you can see how more or less flat that paper is. Look. A bit of sky colour. Just a... We just get a little bit of... Get over there, where well, I made a mess. Okay, and probably we could just put another little bit. Let's get that going behind there. Right, that will do, that will do nothing else. Anything else I would risk ruining it. We'll put it in the mount and we'll have a, we'll have a look. But the thing is, with this, I'm so close. The camera's so close to the the board, I can't really zoom out. But if I, I'll, I'll wind it up. Let's just put these from there. And I can so you can see it in the, in the frame. Whoops. Ah, go on. Right, hang on. Just alter the angle on Fred Gillespie's boom that he kindly made for me. I can see that. So there you are. Another Lakeland thing I, I could, what I was going to do is just put a little bit of, bit of, bit of snow on the tops of these, a couple of, just a little bit. Uh, so easy to overdo this, but we 
Das schauen wir mir so. So you don't need to ask me what this one is. It's look, it's luminescence, luminance, luminance, six nine oh one, and it's Karen Dash. Karen Dash. Oops. Karen Dash, made in Switzerland. So a lovely little thing. Just for doing little bits of of uh, texture like that, you can. Use it in the foreground, anywhere. A couple of chimney pots and oh, Turner used it. Constable used white gouache. Just objects in the landscape. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed that. See you soon. Bye bye.